Hey everybody. How's it going? You never know if it's live yet. So um, my name's Mackenzie. Thanks for hopping on today. Oh, there we go. Live, we are on. Thanks for joining. It's Friday and I'm here representing Yoga Pop Fort Collins and I'm going to be guiding you through a Flow One class. So um, at least here in Colorado, it's nice and sunny out. I have the windows open. I was planning on doing a class outside, but it got a little windy. So we're going to do it inside for today. Um, the flow one sequence that we're going to be rolling through works towards a peak posture of half moon, which is Ardha Chandrasana in Sanskrit. So the cool <coughs> thing about half moon posture um, is it's a balancing posture. So we're going to move through a few balancing postures to kind of work our way up to that peak posture. Um, there's also a lot of expansion going on as we open through our shoulders, through our upper body, our heart area. Um, and then we're also expanding through the top of our head, out through our feet. So there's a lot going on. Um, but specifically through class, working towards balancing, um, doing a little bit of warming up the spine to get ready for opening up the heart. And I'm excited for it. So thanks for hopping on. Hey dad, how's it going? My dad watches every single one of these classes and I don't know if he's actually doing the yoga. Dad, I see you, but I appreciate you hopping on in the encouragement. So um, you can use a couple props if you want to. So within that Ardha Chandrasana, that half moon, it is for me helpful to use a block. Now, if you don't have an actual yoga block, you could maybe um, find a nice thick book or you could stack a couple books on top of each other. You could use even like a can of soup or just something to give you a little bit of height. So you can always press pause, go around and grab that if you want. Um, one of the other balancing postures that we work towards, it may be helpful for you to have a strap. Now, I have an actual yoga strap here, but if you don't have an actual yoga strap, any sort of strapping material, you could use like a belt, um, any, you know, even if it's leather or something like that, or even maybe a scarf, like a winter scarf of some sort, anything that um, allows you to um, find a loop around your foot and we're essentially moving into um, this posture here. So couple things that may be helpful for you during class, but again, I will guide you through some modifications where you won't need to use those blocks if you don't want to. Um, what else do I have? I don't think I have much else. So let's get started here. We're going to take a seat towards the middle of our mat. And we're going to come into a reclined bound angle. Pose is what it's the, the full word for it. So Supta Bada Kanasana in Sanskrit. So come seated towards the middle of your mat and then go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together and then let your knees open wide. Now from here, we want you to come lying down onto your back. So slowly just lower down onto your back, drawing your shoulders down to the ground. Now I'm going to recommend your palms facing up towards the sky here. Let your knees draw down towards the ground. Now you can take this here as deep as you would like. So you can bring your heels up towards your hips or towards your glutes. That's going to make it a little bit deeper. Or you can send your toes down towards the front of your mat. That's going to release it a little bit. Now go ahead and close your eyes if you have not already. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Hands are open, palms are open to receive. And just notice the natural rhythm of your breath. Notice how maybe your belly or your chest rises with your inhales. Where does your breath go? Does it stay up high? Does it move down into your ribs or your belly? Where is your breath settling? How deep are your breaths? 
just taking notice. Don't change anything right now. We just want to notice what's going on. And then begin to lengthen. So wherever you're at with your breath, maybe add on an extra couple seconds. Work your way towards a four second inhale. So inhale for four, three, two, one, and hold at the top. And exhale out your nose for four, three, two, one, and hold at the bottom. Finding equal part inhale and exhale. Again, inhale for four, three, two, one and hold and exhale for four three two one and hold now move through two more rounds here of breath at your own pace finding that four count inhale and followed by four count exhale Let your belly rise with your inhales. Let it fall with your exhales. All right. Now from here, go ahead and take your hands down to the sides of your legs and bring your knees back up to center, moving slowly. And then hug your knees into your chest, finding a little yogi ball wrapping around in front of your shins really compressing through your front side body through your internal organs maybe you reach up try and bring your nose to your knees go ahead and release now begin to rock and roll from the front to the back gaining momentum with each rock and roll here until you come to a seated position at the top of your mat now move into the tabletop, plant your hands, step back one knee at a time here. So tabletop position, hands under your shoulders, knees under your wrists. So find a long straight spine to begin with. You're hugging up through your belly here, extending out through the top of your head towards the front of the space, working your hips back behind you. Now we wanna move here with our breath through our movement. So on your inhale, Drop your belly, take your gaze up to the sky for cow. And exhale for cat. Press the mat away from you. Tuck your chin, curl your spine. Again, cow, drop your belly, gaze up, soften here through your elbows. Exhale, cat, pressing away through your knees, through your palms. Tuck your belly button to your spine. Again, cow. Open and shine through your collarbone, soften through your belly. Exhale, cat, press it away. Find that flexion through your spine here. Hug up through your belly, right in between your shoulder blades. Now move a couple more times through cat cow at your own pace here. Inhale for cow, last one. And exhale, cat, press it away. Inhale, back to tabletop, neutral spine. Now curl your toes under. And exhale, downward facing dog. So send your hips high. Begin to straighten out your legs. Now, you may still have a bend through your knees. If you tend to be tight in your calves and your hamstrings, find that bend as much as you need. And then as you find more flexibility, you can straighten out your legs and work your heels towards the ground. Now at the same time, really press the mat away from you. You wanna find a big wide grip through your hands, bringing just a little bit of the weight into your, into the, um, your fingers here. This is gonna relieve some of the pressure from your wrist. You really wanna open up here through your armpits, through your shoulders your armpits, sorry, your elbows. Keep breathing, inhale. And exhale, work your hips up higher, send your chest to the top of your thighs. Now moving along, inhale, gaze to the top of your mat, bend your knees. 
and exhale, walk your feet towards your hands, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale for a halfway lift. This time, keep your fingers on the ground, lengthen through your spine. And exhale, fold forward, let it go. We're gonna do that two more times. So again, keep a slight bend in your knees as much as you need. Inhale, halfway lift. This time, bring your fingers to your shins. Lengthen through the top of your head. Guide your shoulders down your back. Exhale, fold forward. Let it go. Third one. Inhale, halfway lift. Fingers can come up to your thighs this time. Hug up through your belly. Exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana. Root to rise. Inhale, extended mountain. Come all the way to standing. Bring your arms overhead. Palms to touch. Exhale, draw your hands through heart center. Press your palms together. Guide your thumbs to your chest. Tadasana, samastihiti. So standing here at attention. So gaze down, feet approximately hip width distance. Lift all 10 toes and then drop them down one at a time. Find a good foundation right beneath you. We're gonna move with our breath. Inhale, extended mountain, Urdhva Hasasana, reach overhead. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana, hinge at your hips. Now notice, my spine is straight the whole way down. I'm gazing out in front of me, and then eventually drop my head down to the ground. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Again, inhale, extended mountain root to rise. Bring your arms overhead. Exhale, hands through, heart center. Thumbs come to your chest. Maybe close your eyes as you move with your breath. Inhale, Urdhva Hasasana, reach overhead, extended mountain. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana, hinge at your hips. Keep that flat spine, work your hips back behind you. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, full, let it go. Last one, inhale, extended mountain, root to rise, reach. Exhale, hands through, heart center, breath to movement. Inhale, extended mountain, reach as you fill up your lungs. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at your hips. Draw your belly over your thighs. Inhale, halfway lift. Now this time, exhale, plank. Plant your hands, step back into high plank. So high push-up position. Your wrists are directly under your shoulders here. And then long line of energy through your hips, out through your heels here. So you want to feel strong within your shoulders. You don't want to be sinking down into your shoulder blades. If you notice yourself sinking down, go ahead and press them out of way. Press up in between your shoulder blades here, right at that space in between the blades. Now at the same time, hug in through your low belly. Find a very slight tuck of your tailbone. Engage through your legs, energy out through your heels, and you're continuing to breathe here in your high plank. One more round of breath. And exhale, go ahead and drop to your knees and come to a comfortable seated position. So I'm going to demonstrate the Chaturanga Dandasana. So Chaturanga Dandasana is a four part sequence that you see in so many of your vinyasa style classes. You'll see them in Ashtanga. Um, and many other different styles of classes. So you start in that high plank, that high push-up position on your inhale, exhale, lower down, halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Now I'm gonna show you what that is, and I'm gonna show you some different layers that you can peel back as you build strength. So again, starting in that high push-up position here. Now, Right away, we're not going to be doing the fullest expression. So I'm going to show you the modified version first. So from your high push-up, 
go ahead and drop down to your knees. Now, as you can see, I'm in an extended tabletop. So from here, I'm gazing out in front of me. My hands are under my shoulders. I'm gonna shift forward on my inhale. This allows me to find a slight tuck of my tailbone. And on my exhale, lowering down chest to the ground. Now my hands are underneath my shoulders already. Tops of my feet rooted into the earth. Inhale, cobra, lift up through the top of my head. Then exhale, release your cobra, move into tabletop, curl toes, downward facing dog. Now, I recommend doing that modified variation for multiple classes. Maybe you do it for a whole month. Maybe you do it for two months, three months, a full year. You really want to get that base foundation correct before you move into the fullest expression. Now the fullest expression, here's how it looks. You start in your high plank. You're here on the inhale, on your exhale, lowering down halfway, you're hugging your elbows in. Now if you notice as you're lowering down, your elbows are sneaking out, that is a good sign that you need to drop to your knees. If you are lowering down halfway and your hips are sagging, another sign to drop to your knees. If you are lowering down halfway and your hips are way too high, maybe drop to your knees. You really want to build up that strength within your arms, build the strength within your core before you pop up off of your knees. Fullest expression here. High plank, here on an inhale. Exhale, lower halfway, hug your elbows in, flat as a board. Tops of your feet, root to the ground, lengthen through your arms, draw your shoulders underneath your ears. And then exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips high, use your core to pike your hips up. So that's the chaturanga. You can always hold in your high plank, hold in your tabletop. You can always just feed us in downward facing dog. The options are endless and the option is yours. So let's do one together. Let's start in a downward facing dog though. So starting here, downward facing dog, Send your hips high. Press the mat away from you. Inhale, shift forward into high plank. And then move through your chaturanga. Exhale, lower down halfway or all the way. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra variation. And exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful job, yogis. Again, we're gonna move through many of those. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through to lunge. Step your right foot to your right thumb here. So right knee is directly over your right ankle. You go ahead and drop your left knee down to the ground. So we really wanna find this foundation if our right knee is over our left ankle. We're just gonna toe heel that right foot forward. Now lift that left knee back up. We are into a lunge here for an inhale, shine through your chest. Exhale, pyramid variation, straighten your right leg. Now we're gonna hold here for three breaths instead of moving. So find a pyramid, spine is long and straight. Bring your hands directly under your shoulders. Now this is a modified variation. Our feet are a lot wider than we typically are, but you can feel this. You're feeling that stretch along the backside of your right thigh, your right calf, that hamstring area. Breathe into that tightness. Keep your spine long and straight. Keep your gaze out towards the top of the mat. Draw your shoulders down your back. One more inhale. On your exhale, back to lunge, bend your right knee. Inhale, step back, high plank. And exhale, chaturanga, your variation, lower all the way or halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. One breath here, fill it up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, lunge, step through to your left thumb. 
So here on your inhale, you're shining through your chest. You're gazing out in front of you. Right knee stays lifted. Exhale, pyramid variation. Straighten your left knee here. So again, hands are directly under your shoulders here. If you want to take a deeper bend your elbows, you'll feel a deeper stretch along the backside of your left leg. Keep breathing. Keep the gaze out in front of you. Inhale back to lunge, bend your left knee. And exhale, high plank. Here on an inhale, maybe you shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips high, keep breathing. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, travel, feet to hands, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Again, keep the bend in your knees as much as you need in that forward fold. Inhale, extended mountain root to rise. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, plant your hands, high plank, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Moving along, inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. So shift your shoulders over your wrist, press the mat away. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Exhale, lunge, step through. Now this time, bring your right foot in between your hands. Maybe you toe heel it towards the center of your mat. Now we're setting up for warrior two. Drop your left foot down so it becomes parallel to the back end of the mat. Inhale, rise up, warrior two, arms come to a T. So look down at your foundation. Right toes are pointed in front of you. The heel of your right foot draws in line with the arch of your back foot. Back foot is about parallel to the back end of the mat. Or maybe you bring your left toes towards the front of the space, bringing that left foot at an angle just a little bit. Again, arms out to a T, gaze over the fingers of your right hand. Now hug in through your belly, deep bend, right knee is over right ankle. Keep on focusing, keep on, on breathing. Last inhale. Maybe you stay or sink a little bit deeper on your exhale. Inhale, reverse foyer. Your low body stays the same. Now reach your right arm back behind you, feeling the stretch through your entire right side body. Little to no weight through your left hand. Keep the bend in your right knee. Keep breathing. Reach back a little bit more here. Inhale. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, arms to a T. Exhale, extended side angle. So reach your right arm in front of you as much as you can. When you can no longer go any further, tick tock your arms, six and 12. So here, extended side angle, right fingers point down to your right toes, left fingers point up towards the sky. Option to send your left fingers towards the front of the space. So you find a deeper stretch on the left side. Roll your left shoulder down your back. One more inhale. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten your right leg. Bring your right arm directly up towards the sky. Then work it towards the back. You'll feel a deeper stretch through your right side, through your right hip. Draw your right shoulder down your back. Keep on breathing. Inhale, arms to a T. 
Exhale, triangle, trikonasana. So again, send your right fingers out in front of you until you can no longer go anymore. Tick tock, six and 12. Right fingers and hands come to the inside of your right leg. Now, maybe you push that back behind you. This allows you to open up a little bit more through your left shoulder. Keep breathing. Make sure not to collapse into the right side of your body. One more inhale. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, rise up, arms to a T, feet become parallel. Here for an inhale, as we lengthen through our spine, maybe gaze up. And exhale, prasarita padatanasana. So hinge at your hips, wide leg, forward fold. Keep your spine long and flat. Keep the gaze out in front of you. Move slow as you hinge at your hips. Eventually letting your hands drop, letting your head drop and your gaze come back behind you. Now here in your forward fold, as the gaze goes back behind you, you're gonna work the top of your head down towards the ground. Now maybe you shift just a little bit of your weight into the balls of your feet. This is gonna shift your hips right directly over your ankles. Keep on breathing here. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Prasarita Padatanasana. Inhale, lunge, creep and crawl to your right towards the front of the space. Your left heel is lifted, right knee over your right ankle. And hold here on your exhale for our lunge. Low body stays the same. We're gonna move on. Inhale, crescent lunge. Anjaneyasana, reach your arms overhead. You keep deep bend through your right knee. Again, left heel is lifted. Long and straight through your left leg. Hug in here through your belly. Reach your fingers high to the sky. One more inhale. On your exhale, airplane your arms. So torso stays the same. Reach your arms down and back, palms face the ground. So as you do that, hug in through your elbows back behind you. Keep your gaze lifted. Keep the bend through your right knee. Inhale, crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana, reach overhead. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Draw your right fingers back behind you. Left fingers point out in front of you. Now this twist here comes from your mid to upper spine. Take it as deep as you can, but keep the bend through your right knee, twisting as you take your gaze back behind you. One more inhale. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, crescent to the front, Anjaneyasana. And exhale, lunge, plant your hands, step back into high plank. Here's your opportunity to move through your chaturanga. High plank, down to your low plank. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog is where we'll meet. One inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Other side, inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward, press the mat away, hugging through your belly, feel your strength. Inhale, three-legged dog, kick back. Exhale, step directly in between your hands. Now again, setting up for warrior two. Inhale, rise up, arms to a T. Find that heel to arch alignment. Back foot becomes parallel to the mat. So sink generously here into your left knee, gazing over your left fingers. Now keep breathing. One more inhale. Stay for your exhale. Low body stays the same. 
Inhale, reverse warrior, paint the sky back behind you. Hold here on your exhale. Keep the bend in your left knee. Stretch through your left side body. Now maybe you roll your left shoulder down your back. One more inhale. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, arms to a T. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach forward until you can no longer than tick tock, six and 12. Now again, here's your option. Draw your right hand to the front of the space. Draw your right shoulder back behind you. Left fingers point down to your left toes. Now work your left arm so it pulls your left knee back behind you. Keep breathing, one more inhale. Hold for your exhale. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten your left leg, left arm reaches high first, then stretch it back behind you. Deep stretch through the muscles in between your ribs on the left side, the intercostal muscles breathe there. One inhale, hold for your exhale. Inhale, arms to a T, setting up. Exhale, trikonasana. So again, reach triangle, left fingers forward, then tick tock. You don't want to drop down here into your left side body. Lift up through your left obliques, both legs long and straight. Keep on breathing here. Use the core. Inhale, rise up, arms to a T, feet become parallel, gaze out in front of you, toes out in front of you. And exhale, prasarita, padatanasana. Wide leg forward, fold here, move slow as you hinge and keep a flat spine the whole way down. Now your gaze is eventually gonna come in between your legs, top of your head works to the ground. Again, maybe shifting a little bit of your weight to the balls of your feet. Keep on breathing. Hands come underneath your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, full, let it go. Inhale, lunge, top of your space, creep and crawl, bend your left knee. And hold here on your exhale. Again, your right knee is lifted. Inhale, crescent lunge, Anjane Asana, reach overhead through your fingers, keep the bend through your left knee here. Keep lifting, hugging through your low belly, long and straight through your right leg here. Work your right hip towards the front of the space. You're gonna feel a deep stretch through your front hip flexor, the front of your right hip. One more inhale. Exhale, airplane arms, swoop them down and back. Palms face the ground. Now work your hands as high as you can. Draw them back behind you as much as you can. Keep your chest lifted. Keep your left knee bent. Inhale, crescent, Anjane Asana. Exhale, open arm, twist to the left. Draw your left fingers back behind you. Reach to the front through your right fingers. So this twist is coming from your mid to upper spine, but keeping the bend in your knees. And keep on breathing here. One more inhale. Hold for your exhale. Inhale, arms overhead. Anjaneyasana. Exhale, lunge, plant your hands. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job, yogis. Inhale together. Exhale, let it go. Now let's move together with that flow, linking breath to movement. So one breath, one movement. Picking up the pace just a little bit here. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, shift it forward, feel your strength. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. 
Exhale, step in between your hands, setting up for warrior two. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. And exhale, settle deeper. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle, paint the sky. Exhale, triangle proper, reach and tick tock. Inhale, rise up, arms to a T, feet parallel. Exhale, prasarita, padatanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lunge, creep and crawl. Settle in here for your exhale. Inhale, crescent proper Anjaneyasana. Exhale, airplane your arms, swoop them down. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach to the front. Exhale, lunge, drop your hands, step back into high plank. Now move through your chaturanga, any variation that you choose is yours. Skip, hold high plank, whatever you choose will meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through in between your hands, setting up for warrior two. Inhale, rise up, heel to arch alignment. Draw your arms to a T. Inhale, reverse warrior, keep the bend through your left knee, reach back. Exhale, extended side angle. Low body stays the same. Bring your arms to a T. Inhale, reverse triangle. Paint the sky above you. Exhale, triangle proper. Reach. Inhale, rise up, arms to a T. Exhale, prasarita, padatanasana, wide leg. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lunge to the front of the space. Low body stays the same. Inhale, crescent on Janayasana. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Draw your left hand back behind you. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, plank. Move through your chaturanga. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. One round of breath here, inhale. Exhale, shift forward back into your high plank here. Now go ahead and drop down onto your forearms. So we're going to move into a forearm plank. Time has already begun. So you have the option to bring your hands at an 11, palms face down, or interlace your fingers right in front of your grip. So that gives you three points of contact here, pressing through your forearms. Now you're here in a forearm plank. Again, time has already begun. We are nearly halfway over at this point, but pressing so much through your forearms that you lift up through your shoulder blades. You wanna pull your collar bone out in front of you, drawing your elbows back towards your toes. You're lifting up, engaging through your core. My body is shaking, you may hear it in my breath. Keep breathing. Two more rounds of breath. Deep inhale. Exhale to hold. You can always drop one knee at a time if you need. One more inhale. And exhale slowly. Lower your belly. 
all the way down onto the ground. Awesome job here. Stack your palms on top of each other and you can draw your forehead down towards the top of your palms. Just a couple of breaths here to lower your heart rate, lower your breath. Maybe I'm doing this more for myself than for you. To release, hands under your shoulders, curl your toes. Inhale, press up to tabletop or high plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Now using your core, walk your hands back towards your feet, back of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, extended mountain, root to rise, reach. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, so now we've moved into this um, balancing pop point of class. So I'm going to have you keep standing towards the back of your mat facing forward. But for the sake of the camera, I'm going to come to the front and go ahead and face you guys here head on. So first balancing posture is tree pose, Rikshasana. So we want to find a good solid foundation starting through our left foot. That's gonna be our standing leg. So lift the five toes from your left foot, slowly lower them down one at a time as if you were actually growing roots underneath that foot. Now you can find your variation in your kickstand through your right ankle. Bring your right foot to your calf or to the inside edge of your left thigh here. Find your variation. And maybe hands to heart center. I know for me, if I bring my right foot up to my thigh, my left hip tends to poke out. So I wanna draw that back into the midline. At the same time, drawing your right knee back behind you. So you're hugging in through your left hip, opening up through your right hip. Left leg is long and straight, maybe hands to heart center. Find one point of focus here, your drishti, an unmoving object that you can just stare at, take your focus to, make sure to breathe. We're here for one more round of breath. Inhale together. Stay here for your exhale. And then release through your right foot. You can pedal it out. Now we're gonna find that same thing on the other side. So rooting through your right standing leg, lift your toes off the ground, draw them down one at a time. Now again, finding kickstand with your left foot, taking your left foot to the inside of your right calf or the inside of your right thigh. Now again, if my right hip is poking out, draw it back into center, work your left knee back behind you. Feel that opening through your left hip that stability through your right hip. Maybe one hand to heart center, then the other. Find your drishti, your unmoving object. Find your breath here. Keep breathing, work and lift through the top of your head and then root down through your feet at the same time, feeling expansion through your entire body. One more inhale. Stay here on your exhale and release. Awesome job. That was first balancing posture of class. So second one we're gonna do before we move into our peak posture of half moon. This one is called, hold on, I always have to look at it. Utita Hasta Padangustasana. So that essentially means we're gonna be standing, we're gonna be expanding, and we're gonna be bringing our big toe to our hand. I'm gonna break this down step by step. First, without using a strap, and then I'll use a strap for my left side. So, rooting down through that left foot, it's gonna be our standing leg again, finding that foundation, find those roots. And then right leg comes lifted, bending at your right knee at 90 degrees. So here we are, this is a balancing posture in and of itself. If you don't have a good foundation through your left standing leg, 
you may fall over. Maybe this is step one, and maybe you hang out at step one for a while before you move forward. Be okay with where you're at. Flex your toes of your right foot. Lift up through the top of your head and feel strong and proud. If you're gonna take the next step, create peace fingers with your right hands, and then find your big toe. So this is step two. You can always grab for the inside or outside edges of your feet as well. The big toe just kind of speaks and resonates with me. Left hand to your hip. So maybe you hang out here. If you're gonna move it forward, take a big inhale, lift through the top of your head, and then exhale, kick out through your right heel out in front of you. Now draw your right shoulder back in place as much as you can. That is difficult for me. So I am gonna bend my knee so that I can keep my right shoulder back in space. So stay here. If you're gonna take it further, open up to the right. Now, keep your right toes flexed towards your face. Keep lifting through your chest. That one is really hard for me without a strap. So I'm gonna keep my right knee bent, but extend through your heel if you can. Holding here for an inhale, and on your exhale, release, taking those same steps that you took to get into that. Now pedal it out. Again, that one is hard for me without the strap. So the second side, I am going to utilize the strap so you can see what that looks like. We're going to root through our right standing leg, lift your toes, draw them down. Left knee bends, flex your left toes towards your face. Step one. Step two, find your grip. Maybe you take your peace fingers, wrap them around your toes. Maybe you take your strap and wrap it around your foot. Hang out here for as long as you want. Inhale, lift through the top of your head. And exhale, kick your left leg out. Now this is why the strap is so important for me. It allows me to draw my left shoulder back in space and keep my left leg long and straight. Here for one more inhale. And exhale, open up. This is the third final step. You don't have to take it this far if you don't want. Keep your left toes flexed. So it's hard for me today. One more inhale. And then exhale, release the same way that you came in. Moving slow. And then come back to standing. If you pedal it out, awesome job, elbows. Virtual high fives. Inhale, extended mountain, reach overhead. And exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, walk forward to a high plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step in between your hands, setting up for warrior two. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. So we've been here before, extended side angle. Now here's where we're gonna move into our peak posture of Ardha Chandrasana. So I like to use a block and I should have probably had you grab that before we move into our extended side angle, but grab for your prop, your block, your book, your can of soup, whatever you're using. And if you're not using anything, that's okay. But if you are, place it about a foot in front of the pinky toe of that right foot. Toes are pointing forward. Block is just off the edge of that pinky toe. Back into your extended side angle. So from here, drop your left hand to your hip. And then toe heel your left foot in a couple feet. This is shortening our stance here. From here, we're going to drop our fingers down to that block. And we're going to work on straightening our right leg as we lift up through our left leg. So left leg comes lifted, flexing through your left toes. You want that left foot coming as parallel to the ground as you can. Fingers are gently resting on the block right beneath you. Last step here is lift through your left hand up to the sky. So we're kicking 
we're stretching, we're balancing, a lot going on. Make sure you're breathing. One more inhale. We're gonna exhale slowly lower down back into a warrior two. Awesome job. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel towards the front of the space, back into a lunge. Step back, high plank. Now you have the option here to move through a chaturanga and meet us in downward facing dog. Now I'm gonna move through the other side. This time you guys are gonna see it from like looking at my back. I'm gonna be facing the wall behind me. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step through to lunge right in between your hands, setting up for warrior two. Now grab that block, place it off about a foot or so in front of the pinky edge of your left foot. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Drop your right hand to your right hip and toe heel your right foot in a couple feet. Draw your left fingers down to the block and slowly start to lift your right leg, flexing your right toes, balancing on your left leg here. Now, a little bit of balance through your left fingers. Last step, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon, right arm lifts high. Hold here, keep breathing, one more inhale. And exhale slowly, lower back into a warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel back to a lunge, step back, high plank. Option, move through your chaturanga. Meet us in downward facing dog. Awesome work, yogis. One last inhale together in downward facing dog. And then go ahead and drop to your knees. Take a seat towards the middle of your mat. Now let your legs come out in front of you. Go ahead and bend them. Soles of your feet root into the earth, arms out in front of you, and slowly lower down with one vertebrae at a time. Now from here, finding a constructive rest, go ahead and toe heel your feet out towards the edge of the mat and let your knees drop in towards the midline. Bring one hand to belly, one hand to heart. Take notice here of your breath. How deep are your breaths? How long are your breaths? Do you have intention with your breath? Send your breath where it needs to go. If you're feeling any tightness, go ahead and send your breath there. Take one more round of breath here. And to release, slowly toe heel your feet back towards the center. You're gonna bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees open wide like a book. Supta Baddha Kanasana. Reclined, bound angle or even butterfly legs. Bring opposite hand to opposite. Opposite hand to belly and heart. Breathe into your hips, open through your knees. the stillness and the silence that comes with the cool down portion of class. To release, draw your hands down towards the edges of your legs and slowly begin to guide your knees back to the center. Now take your knees off to the left, just a simple supine twist. As you draw your gaze over to the right, maybe arms to a T. Or you can find any variation with your arms that you need. Inhale back to center. And exhale, draw your knees to the right, simple supine twist to the left. And 
inhale, draw your knees back to center. Hug them up into your chest. And then take a full body stretch here. Kick your legs out in front of you. Reach your arms back behind you. As if it's the first stretch of the morning here. Really let it all go. And then you can settle into your final Shavasana. Your corpse pose. So take up space here. Let your feet splay open wide. Let your palms open up to the sky. Draw your shoulders down to the earth. Close your eyes if you haven't already. Off to your soft, natural breath. For the rise and the fall of your body as it breathes the air around you it is your life force. It is literally keeping you alive every second of the day as you're breathing, whether or not you notice it or not. Bring your thoughts, your intention, your focus back to your breath again and again. That is the yoga. So stay here in your Shavasana as long as you would like. You don't get nearly enough time to sit in stillness and silence. For the support of the earth beneath you, there is nowhere else for you to be. There is nowhere else for you to go, nothing for you to do, except for to just be here. It's been an honor to guide you through this practice every time you guys show up over and over again. The student within me honors and sees the teacher in each and every one of you. Namaste. I hope you guys enjoyed this Friday Flow One. And we will have three classes on tomorrow. So stay tuned and have a good rest of your weekend. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and we'll talk to you later. Bye.